So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the mock trade that would send Miles Turner to the Golden State Warriors this 2021 NBA offseason. And if the Warriors are fully committed to winning more championships in the near future, they'll definitely have to upgrade their center position since James Wiseman right now is not the right fit. And this is because he is young and he is definitely making a ton of mistakes as a rookie. And I'm pretty sure that the Warriors would rather make a trade for an experienced center that is really good for their team in terms of fit. And Miles Turner brings exactly that to their team. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome NBA videos like these. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the Indiana Pacers will have a ton of decisions to make this offseason since they definitely underperformed this season. And the name that comes to mind that could definitely be moved this offseason would be Miles Turner. And being 25 years old, Miles Turner is already one of the best shot blocking big men in the entire NBA. But he's still been involved in trade rumors since the beginning of the 2020-2021 NBA season. Which is why teams could definitely reach out to the Pacers and try to actually make a trade for him. And with that being said, now let's get into the actual mock trade that would send him to the Golden State Warriors. So in this mock trade, the Warriors would receive Miles Turner as the Indiana Pacers would receive James Wiseman, a first round pick and a future second round pick. And even with his injuries, Miles Turner has been one of the best defensive centers in the entire NBA this season. And in 47 games, he recorded 159 blocks. And this could be extremely useful for the Golden State Warriors since they have not really had a true center that could play really good defense in the past years. But in this trade, they would definitely get all of that and a great defensive center that could actually fill in all their defensive holes and be a great and dynamic frontcourt combination with Draymond Green. But they would need to give up a player in James Wiseman as well as a future first round pick and second round pick. But this is definitely the price you will have to pay at the least to be able to get a great center like Miles Turner who can also space out the floor on the offensive side of the court. And this season, Miles Turner has averaged 13 points per game, 7 rebounds, 1 steal, and almost 4 blocks per game. While shooting 34% from 3 point range this season as a center, and 48% from the field, as well as almost 80% from the free throw line. And in this trade, the Warriors still keep their backup center in Kevon Looney. And the best thing about this trade is that they still keep Andrew Wiggins and could actually send him to a team like the San Antonio Spurs for a player like DeMar DeRozan. And with that possibility, the Golden State Warriors lineup could even be Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, DeMar DeRozan, Draymond Green, and Miles Turner. And if they would be healthy, that would clearly be the best starting five in the entire NBA, since they basically have everything they need to succeed on the court, as they would of course have shooting in players like Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Miles Turner, as well as significant defense in Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green, even DeMar DeRozan and Miles Turner. They have great facilitators and players like DeMar DeRozan, Draymond Green, and of course Stephen Curry. And basically everything else they need to be able to win another championship. And they don't even need to sign a player like Kawhi Leonard to be this good. But in the Pacers side of this trade, they would definitely get a great player in James Wiseman that could be a potential star in the future. But of course, he's still very raw and has to develop properly, which he definitely could on the Indiana Pacers roster. And at least in the near future, he would be a much cheaper advice for the Indiana Pacers than Miles Turner would be. Since Turner is likely going to seek a long-term contract, which is gonna be a big payday for him and this would maintain financial flexibility for the indiana pacers team and organization in general and of course in this trade they still get a future first round pick and second round pick from the warriors which is still great for their future and in terms of their rebuild mode to just keep getting draft picks and developing their young players correctly 
and reports have came out to see that the Pacers do not like a Sabonis and Turner frontcourt on their team, which brings extra rumors that the Pacers could look to trade one of them, which could be obviously Miles Turner. But with that all being said, let me know what you guys think of this video, and if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new, and also of course let me know what you guys think the winner of this trade will be. Will it be the Golden State Warriors or the Indiana Pacers? And with that all being said, it's been KYT here and I'm out. Peace.